Hey guys, Sam back from the video, and today I'm going to be doing a quick guide on Void Arc and how you can rank higher in Void Arc. Uh, if we go to Gate of the Void, uh, we got Void Arc here. Uh, it's not too hard to rank higher in here. I mean, top 10k, everyone should be getting if you're really trying, unless you're just like, you just unlock Gate of the Void and you have no imprints whatsoever. It's kind of hard to get top 10k, which even then, you should still be able to maybe get top 10k due to the fact that there's not that many people that play that game. Play, play this game there's really not either way I was able to get first because I got on really fast and quickly did it so the faster you do it on the first day anybody can get first on the first day which is pretty cool so it's nice to see the little first but for Void Arc now they added tree levels so they have you know you have tree levels here which this cost here like I'm not exactly sure the exact amount on this but I'm gonna guess it's around 4 million at least or maybe it's maybe 3.5 4 million stellar for this you know level four tree that's four million stellar i could add that to you know many of these characters down here if i added four million stellar to these like i have a v3 v3 i could have another i could just have a v4 instead of these v3s but if i added three million stellar or however much stellar all these tree levels are to these imprinted heroes i can make every single one of these v3 and then like you know uh what is this six seven eight i can make eight v4 so with the new tree levels, it's a lot harder if, you know, you have, you know, higher level trees. It's, it's a lot harder to actually get stellar because it's kind of hard to gain the stellar. You're mostly losing stellar now depending on how fast you're getting the uh, levels. So, I mean, it's not really much you can do about that. Uh, I mean, besides spending more gems on just resetting your hero's imprints every day. So, what people do which um you know people should still know this by now if we go to rogan here and then we go to my celestial island we go to cloud island and we go to i think i have rogan here we take him out and we go over here so and then we go back to void arc void arc here we can go to navigation uh if i can zoom out on this this would be very good but i don't think i'm going to be able to zoom out is it going to let me please let me zoom out oh 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 it's let me zoom out nice so if we go to here we should find the rogan uh where is rogan where is rogan where is he he is right here found him nice so this is a v4 rogan and as you see v4 is the highest you can get the tree levels don't really matter i don't think they matter in void arc do they let me actually check real quick because i actually have not paid attention to this no tree levels don't matter whatsoever so if you have a you know t4 fairy queen vessa for example you don't get extra bonuses you, you get nothing it's literally the same as if you're getting you know whatever else so let's actually go to this that's you know v4 that's v4 yeah and you're getting the same for a v4 the tree levels don't matter so you know if you put a v4 in once you put this guy in here you can simply go over to this and you can remove the imprints off him boom we'll take imprints off boom and now you basically you have another v4 to put on someone so before you put in all 15 heroes what you want to do is only put like say depending on how many heroes you're willing to reset depending on how many gems you have i wouldn't say do this more than like three to four times each one and if you're really trying to place high because you need star spawn mats and you're really like focusing on the star spawn materials i would say it's a pretty good idea because star spawn materials are one of the best things in the game and you definitely need to focus it okay and i can't zoom out this is being very annoying either way though since i reset those imprints here He's still V4. He's still in here. It doesn't change the fact that you're getting the V4 rewards. So, I don't know how many people still know this, or, you know, depending on if you're a new player or not, you may not know this. So, either way, though, you still have the V4, and now you can make someone else V4. I can't do it today because I already have 15 out of 15, but if I wanted, I could have just made, like, my Annabelle V4. Boom. Got the extra V4 rewards for that. Or, you know, I could have just, uh, Honestly, I could have then made her like V3 or something, and then I could have taken the V4 off Annabelle and then put it on another person, made like two V4s or something, you know? There's a, there's a lot of different ways you could do that. By the way, that's going to help with your placement a lot, because everyone's at 1650 now if you defeat all the battles and the boss, and you do 15 out of 15 for uh, whatever, which is it's pretty simple. Everyone's going to get that. But, the you know, next reset, it gives you actual rewards of what you're getting from, you know, these. I'm getting plus 500%. If everyone gets plus, you know, if you go over to a V4 here, 
if everyone gets plus 800 percent you know you can do the math i don't know the math off the top of my head but plus 800 percent plus 50 you know times that or i don't even know how you would do that honestly i don't know right now and but if you do that i think uh what you'd get up to 50 i don't know 15 800 percent honestly i have no clue how much you're getting by the way you're getting more of these things which are your placement and these really do matter because you really want to be getting like top 300 is pretty hard to get to but like honestly myself i should be getting around top a thousand maybe 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 not it depends on if i'm resetting my heroes imprints or not but i should at least be getting top 2k definitely top 2k last one i got ranked like 28,000 due to the fact that it's just being lazy and not doing void arc which definitely hurts your progress because as you can see here i don't have all my heroes all my star spawns a little hundred if i actually focus void arc and done it good every single time i could easily have them all level 100 and had way more progress but you know it really just depends on how hard you focus on the game it's really not hard to do void arc it takes how much time like five minutes out of your day maybe not even i don't know it doesn't take that much time which obviously this is an idle game some people don't like playing you know some people don't like playing it that much but it's, it's really just what you what you want to do same with tower of oblivion I'm on depth four. I've been farming depth four the past like six months. I could easily get higher on this. It's just really, you know, do I want to? Do I not want to? But you know, if you want to push your progress, you should definitely maximize everything, which shouldn't be hard for everyone because that's basically just you're able to do that without anything. I mean, maybe if you're stuck on gems, but I mean, that's why this game is pay to win. Just buy the fifteen dollar senior card, help you out a lot. <laughs> but Either way though guys, that's it for this video I think. I mean, I just want to show you a little updated guide on Void Arc. Uh, because, you know, the tree levels really do make it, so it's kind of hard to just make everyone V4. Because if I didn't have this, you know, T4 Fairy Queen Vesta, I could have everyone like V3 and then like all top V4 probably. Which would be amazing because I'd rank a lot higher. But I mean, this really hurts your progress if you're not making her T4 because you got to push Void Campaign and stuff. And I really do need to push this too. And definitely maximize void campaign because if you're not you're gonna get so far behind it's not even funny but it is really hard to maximize void campaign it gets kind of boring just putting an auto clicker on and doing it but yeah yeah guys that's it for this video if this video did help you out make sure to like and subscribe because you know i make other guides on this game you know maybe not as much as i just do videos but i do make other guides too so yeah thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one peace out